Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Herbivores, omnivores, and carnivores. All are examples of heterotroph because they eat other organisms to get proteins and energy. They cannot produce their own food or energy. 2. Fungi and protozoa. Since they require carbon to survive and reproduce they are chemoheterotroph. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. A lot of creatures are, including giraffes, dogs, fish, horses, and lizards, but plants are not. A plant is an autotroph, because it can feed itself through photosynthesis. There are three types of heterotrophs, are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Make your mark, take our lead. Heterotrophs are known as consumers because they consume producers or other consumers. Dogs, birds, fish, and humans are all examples of heterotrophs. Heterotrophs occupy the second and third levels in a food chain, a sequence of organisms that provide energy and nutrients for other organisms. Take our lead. There are two subcategories of heterotrophs, photoheterotrophs and chemoheterotrophs. Photoheterotrophs are organisms that get their energy from light, but must still consume carbon from other organisms, as they cannot utilize carbon dioxide from the air. Make your mark! Take our lead! What types are there? Carnivores eat the meat of other animals. Herbivores eat plants. Omnivores can eat both meat and plants. Scavengers eat things left behind by carnivores and herbivores. Decomposers break down dead plant or animal matter into soil. Detritivores eat soil and other very small bits of organic matter. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.